Coverage continues with 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. And Darcy, I know you have a copy of the police report and what the suspect told detectives after he was arrested. Yes, Trisha Barrios, whose right hand was bruised and cut by his own foot-long chef's knife, was first taken to Sunrise Hospital before being released into police custody. He told detectives about his anger, about feeling slighted by others, and of his desire for suicide by cop. He describes the mass shooting in chilling detail in the pages of this arrest report. After his arrest Thursday, Barrios told police he'd arrived in Las Vegas about two days prior from California. He said he was supposed to move in with a friend, but when he arrived in Las Vegas, the friend told him he could not stay at the house, so Barrios took his belongings on a bus to the strip where he arrived at around 8 a.m. He told police people on the bus were making fun of him and he wasn't being treated like a human being. He said after getting off the bus, he went to a mall and asked what he described as chauffeurs for a ride to California before he walked to the Wynn Hotel and spoke with a janitor about job opportunities. He said he asked that janitor to contact immigration for him so he could return back home to Guatemala. Barrios then contacted a security guard on the property and told him he was trying to sell his knives so he could get money to go back home. He says the security guard told him to, quote, jump in front of a train, end quote. He recalled encountering the group of showgirls standing near the escalator, asking to take a picture with them and taking his black carbon kitchen knife from his suitcase, telling them he was a chef. He thought the women were laughing at him and making fun of his clothing. He told police he got angry, stabbed one of the women in the chest, and began stabbing the others in the group as they ran away. Barrio says he then started running and looking for other groups of people so he could let the anger out. He claims he said nothing to any of the victims because he did not know them. After running and throwing the knife in some bushes, he said he was hoping officers would shoot him. The police report also contains firsthand accounts from the surviving victims who describe what they saw and what they felt, including one man who says Barrios apologized before stabbing him in the back. And Trisha, we're going to have that coming up on 13 Action News at 6. And I know, Darcy, you have some more details on what else police are looking for as they investigate this crime. Yeah, according to new information from a law enforcement official that was given to an ABC chief investigative reporter, detectives, detectives are looking at data on multiple phones Barrios had in his possession. They're also tracking how he got to Las Vegas. ABC has learned he apparently traveled from Guatemala through Mexico into California before getting to Las Vegas. There is no record of a border crossing suggesting he is not legally in the United States. Barrios is believed to have a wife and children in California, as well as a criminal history there, but not one that would have flagged him as a risk to the community. His record includes a DUI, a domestic violence episode, and police are running down details on all of that as they continue this investigation. Such a disturbing story.